Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Bird coming at you fast with another Paragon video and today we are going to be talking about a very, 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 very sensitive topic. I'm just kidding bro, I mean it might even be sensitive but everybody's talking about it. So I decided that I might as well put my opinion on it. And yes, I'm still sick, I'm still dying so please bear with me if I explode from a coughing attack. I'll try to mute my mic or cut it out or whatever, etc. But yeah, here's some, just some Jungle Fang Mao gameplay, just to show how fucking boss Fang Mao is right now. I'm recording this on Monday, right before Tuesday, right before V42.3 goes live, uh, which is, you know, there's a lot of changes happening to cards, a lot of changes happening to heroes, Kalari's getting toned down, Wukong's getting toned down, which is good because they both needed to be toned down a little bit. And it's actually going to fall into what I want to talk about. So, the main thing with Paragon right now, no competitive, no sane no sane competitive player thinks Paragon is in a good spot right now. Every single competitive person I've talked to, people of higher level, everyone I talk to who is serious about this game, who either plays tournaments or plans on playing tournaments or just very, very, very skilled at this game, has been playing this game for a long time, understands and realizes that this game is in a complete mess right now. Everybody fucking knows this, okay? It's not it's not like I'm trying to butter it up. I'm not trying to be nice with Epic here. Like, it is, it is really bad. It used to be worse way back when on Legacy when I could literally 1v5 people as Grux with damage and lifesteal. It was worse way back on Legacy when Murdoch hit 1,800 per shot whenever he crit. And the crit chance was like 60-something percent. Crazy high still. Okay? It was worse when you had five-man jungle gank squads where jungle was completely shared 100%. People don't remember how bad it was. This isn't as bad as what it used to be in the very, very beginning and then Monolith, you know, made it a little bit better, made things more fair and more reasonable, and then it, it came back to being crazier, but still not as crazy as it used to be. My point being is that this game has gone to a stage where you can't really outplay people anymore. You can't really outplay as well as you could previously. And there's a few reasons to this. The biggest reason, obviously, is the new card system, in that there are very few useful cards and they're changing that now you know i know epic is changing that i'm not complaining i'm just explaining and stating stating the reason why and what i think how the meta needs to change and what needs to happen so epic is making oh look at that install and try oh cool yeah i see i got the uncharted game it's pretty lit <laughs> anyway so what i think that the meta should be or how it should change so first off they need to have more cards more cards that can counter cc Okay, CC is king and CC will always be king and you we need cards that specifically counter CC and that don't necessarily give really good stats on their own. Okay, it's important to make that distinction cards and choices in the game need to be more specific based on play style. They need to be very, very specific. You need to be determined in what you want to do, when you want to do it. You can't just put on Heavy Hitter all the time and just go to work. You can't just put on Sacred Alchemy and never die. You have to have very specific cards, do very specific things, even more specific, that fall under a certain play style. For example, the nerf to Kalari that I mentioned earlier fits this very, very well. Kalari's invisibility cooldown, for example, Shadow Dance, for those of you who do not know, okay, it actually got nerfed. So at max level before the cooldown was 6 seconds. So, you know, she got out of invisibility, she had to wait 6 seconds to go back into invisibility. Okay, makes sense. It's got nerfed to 11 seconds at max level. That's almost double the time. So, what does that mean? What does that mean? Why, why should we care? That means that Kalaris now have to go back to being very precise, very patient, very specific with their engages and their timing. Which is a good thing. That's what Kalari specializes in. They need to make heroes very, very special. They need to make heroes very, very special. You can't have heroes that are going to just be good at everything. Like right now, for junglers, there's really no point in picking anybody but Rampage or Fang Mao for the most part. You can mess around and pick Richter, sure. You can mess around and pick Crunch, right, or Kwong. They're all pretty solid, but Fang Mao... Does way better at bursting than anyone else. And Rampage does way better at frontlining slash stunning than anyone else. Especially when you have the Withering Death build that I showed in my gameplay. So the point being is that the meta needs to change so that there is a specific counter hero to every hero. 
and that they are picked with precision and that the way you build them has way more specialized meaning than just building them raw damage or raw godmother vigilant health. And they are nerfing godmother vigilant, I know. They're actually buffing Knight of Asher, which I don't know why. But that's just what I'm saying. Is that every choice needs to be more specific. And of course, the indiv individualized hero scaling. Of course. Individualized hero scaling, that's a no-brainer. But specifically, there's no outplay anymore. There needs to be more strategic reasoning behind the item system, behind the cards that you pick, behind the counters, and behind the skill sets of the heroes. And that's all going to take a lot of time. But that's how I believe that the meta should change. Should be less bursty. It could be the same CC, but have more counter to CC. And it needs to have more specialized roles, I feel like. Because, for example, Kalari right now can go offlane, carry, jungle, whatever the hell. It'd still be crazy. So there you guys have it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Share your opinion down in the comment section below. If you did enjoy the video, drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. As always, make sure I have a wonderful day.